Jamie, can I get your assessment of the deserve 2-1 win this afternoon? Uh, happy for the team. Happy for the team. Happy for the fans today, obviously. Um, happy for all my staff. It's uh, it's, it's it's a long week um, reflecting on a last-minute loss um, in the last game that we feel that on looking it back and looking at all our chances, we, we can't actually believe we lost the game. We think you know we should have been out of sight. Um, and then I totally agree with you, Greg. Uh, a deserved victory for me. We had full control in the game. Um, but you just obviously hope that we handle some of the moments that we've not handled previously um, well with strength. And I think we did today, and we were more than more than valued for for the win. One of those moments you could kind of talk about handling well. We, we go one 0 down, obviously, but the reaction to get it back to one one before half time as well. How important was that? Big. Big character, Greg told you, team always fights, they always fight no matter what the circumstances, no matter the feelings, um, they always fight and they did, they, they got that goal back before half time which was, was big and it was a good goal, um, good football and it, yeah, it, it, it brought us into half time with a bounce and I think as the, the first half was growing, we were, we were controlling the game, we were controlling a huge part of the game, uh, it was just would we be able to break them down? We were confident that we would, and fair play to the team. They kept their patience, um, they stuck to what they believe in, and in the end, um, over the course of the 95, 96 minutes, that, that process, that belief, what they stuck to, um, got them a deserved victory. And came out of the box the second half and really dominated the whole of that second 45, didn't they? Yeah, against a good team. We've been causing teams problems. Um, they're in a lofty position in the league. Um, but interestingly, pre-game, they'd scored the exact amount of goals we had. They'd conceded the exact amount of goals we had. And yet, everyone's talking about how well they're doing. It's just funny. Storylines in games can, can change things so much. There were six points between the two teams, but I honestly knew before the game, this is a team that we can win. We can control this game. We can, we can win this game, uh, for sure. And thankfully, uh, the outcome of today's game uh, reflected how I thought it could go um, and I'm glad for the team, I'm glad for the fans um, I'm glad it did go that way Cairo almost got the second goal from a well worked set piece first of all didn't he but the second time around he made no mistake and they were both really well worked through teams They were, they were um, and obviously we, we work really hard on their moments we work really hard on, on trying to stop them we work really hard on trying to score them they contribute to successful seasons no end. Uh, the really important factor of the game, and we we paid them as you know as much attention as we possibly can, and worked them and worked them and worked them, and I hope that um, they they come to fruition on, on days like today. And um, yeah, we, we we got a reward from that today. Quick turn around going into to Tuesday night against obviously an Altrincham team who they've obviously brought in a lot of players haven't they uh, this season so far, and that they're going well themselves. They're buoyant. Um, the squad depth's massive. Uh, I think you know they've they've had a couple of cash injections this season that is really really notable in their squad. Um, I think I think they were 29 or 30 players compared to our 19 players, and yeah, that that's that's just a fact that we're dealing with. I think we've we've used the lowest amount of players in the league this season, joint lowest. I think um, we have the smallest squad uh, behind South End, second smallest squad, squad I think behind South End, and yeah, altering them are in a completely different place. Um, they're benefiting from sticking to the same plan, um, continuity with the manager for a few years in, and then obviously um, that that injection of cash, which has allowed them to really bolt their squad all over the pitch, and they look really good right now. I don't know how they got on today actually, um, but it's a quick turnaround, and it's a it's a big task we face at home on Tuesday night. How was um, Cal Ferguson? I know you kind of hoping he would be. They're back in contention this weekend. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Kyle had a reoccurrence of his groin injury this week, um, which was, you know, devastating for us to be honest. To, to um, watch him go through the stages, coming back, and then you know looking to get him involved in this game today, and then unfortunately, it, you know, there was a repeat of his, his groin injury this week, which was a shame. Um, we had a little bit of sickness this week as well. Dev missed time. Um, on the training ground, unfortunately, we're trying to get him back up to speed. He missed some time with sickness. Jez was off with sickness, um, so we're really stretched and thin when these when these challenges come. And we've actually been very lucky with our injury count. Uh, an injury count like some other clubs 
it would decimate us. I don't know how we'd feel the squad. Um, but yeah, we we try and turn everything around as quickly as possible and stick to the same process today. Win or lose, learn from this game, get ready for the next one, um, reboot, revamp, go again. Some good individual performances today, Jim, as well. The two white men and uh, even Devonti when he came on and made an impact. He did, he did, yeah. There was some good individual performances. Um, there was some. I'm always going to say there was really some really good team stuff because that's so Absolutely. important to me. And yeah. no team can get wins without being a team. Um, but every now and again, yeah, uh, individual brilliance can win you some too. And we had some brilliant individual moments today from our players, uh, which is you know a huge factor. It gets bums out of seats, excites the crowd, yeah. especially when everything was a bit cagey. Mm -hmm. And I must say, um, I'd, you know, I'd like to thank. The supporters that support us, no matter what the score is, no matter what the score is, you know, the fans that support us, I'm, I'm truly thankful for them, and I want them to know that. That's that's massive to me. It's massive to us. And I said when I started doing this, the connection between us um, is really important through the moment of difficulty. That that's when you know the real test of are we all pulling in the same direction, and that support in the moments when the score lands against us or it's cagey, helps our players produce their moments. Because otherwise, they just end up full of fear. And fear is the worst thing for bringing out the best performance. I mean, you could see the effort in the last 10 minutes when you'd expect them to be tiring. They're all getting back, they're all tackling, they're all giving everything. They give their all, I think, don't they? You said it better than me. OK. <laughs> but they did. <laughs> it's quite a statement, isn't it, the fact You've beaten a team who are on a great run of form yourself, so it should give everybody a massive lift confidence-wise. It does. We, we have confidence in ourselves as a group, we do. Um, we've had confidence in all our performances so far and we, and we, we know um, why and that we should have had more wins. Um, but we're, we're, we're learning still, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to build this still and um, there's, there's so much more work to do, but I agree. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a statement victory against what have been recently looking like um, a bit of a powerhouse of a team with a front three that have scored 30 goals between them. And how difficult the transition coming out of the EFL to the National League is still finding your feet. Is it, is it a, a massive transition for the club? And the I think the most difficult thing has been um, dealing with that that relegation from the football league, but also dealing with the fact that the club is under severe pressure and hardship right now, and we're not able to support the squad as much as I would like to, uh, as much as some other clubs are doing in this league. While we've made that transition off the back of a relegation, so although we're an EFL club playing in the national league now. Um, we don't have some of the clout that an EFL club should have playing in the National League. So that's probably been the biggest challenge to try and keep this group of players playing with real bravery, knowing some of the hardship the club's under. Because there's some big budgets out in the National League, it's just... Monster budgets, monster, yeah. it's frightening. And we're nowhere near them. Yeah. We're nowhere near them, truthfully. Um, so, you know, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm... Folks, on the next moment, uh, thankful for the team's effort today. Um, thankful for the, f the fans supporting us and hopefully we can all enjoy that win together. You just alluded to that about last week you had all these chances, should have won. When that's the situation, it must be hard, tough to cope with and get pick the players up after, after they've done so well and come away empty-handed. It is, because feelings and emotion you know, um, are all so instant, aren't they? And, mm. and, and that, that, that's normal, that's totally normal. But mm. Everyone gets kind of very reactionary to what just happened in the last moment. And the last moment of the last game didn't reflect how the game should have went. Um, we should have won that game. We had multiple chances to win that game. And we're still early and trying to get better at the things we need to get better at and stronger at so we can um, plan the route to starting to compete at the top end of this division consistently. But that's. Um, that's definitely going to need uh, uh, a lot of um, all-round improvement as a football club.